A Nevada roulette wheel has 38 pockets. 18 of them are red, 18 are black, and 2 are green. Each time the wheel is spun, a ball lands in one of the pockets, and each pocket is equally likely to receive the ball. Number 1. What is the probability the ball will land in a green pocket on a spin? Well, since the outcomes are equally likely, we should be able to do this by counting, which means we need to find out how large the sample space is. So it would be uh, reasonable to write down the sample space. The sample space consists of the possible pockets that the ball can land in. There are 18 red, so we'll call them red 1, red 2, so on and so forth, up to red 18. There are 18 black ones, which we will call black 1, black 2, so on and so forth to black 18, and then two greens, which we will call green 1 and the green 2. So that's the sample space, and the event of landing in a green pocket, we'll call G, that has two outcomes in it, green 1 or green 2. So the answer to this question is 2 over 38, which reduces to 1 1 19th. Number 2. What is the probability the ball will land in a green pocket given that it did not land in a red one? Okay, so we're given that it did not land in a red one. That means we're working with a reduced sample space. We know it did not land in red, so the only possibilities are that it landed in one of the black ones. That's B1, B2, so on and so forth, up to B18. Or it landed in a green one, green one and green two. So from this sample space, we have to write down how many, uh, we have to write down what, this, what the uh, event G looks like. So from here now, not from here, not from the original sample space, but rather from the reduced sample space, we have to write down what G looks like. And G has G1 and G2 still. So the answer is 2 over 20, because there are 20 elements in the reduced sample space. So that's 1 tenth. Number 3. Are landing in a green pocket and landing in a red pocket independent events? Well, from number 1, here's what we know so far. We know that the probability of getting a green pocket is 1 19th. Now, if we could calculate probability of getting a green pocket given red pocket, then we could compare the two and have an answer. So we need to work on probability of green given red. Oops, that's supposed to be a parenthesis. Okay, so we're given that it landed in a red uh, pocket. That means the reduced sample space here is the set of red pockets. Red 1, red 2, so on and so forth, up to red 18. Now, from this sample space, we have to find how many greens we have. And when you look through there, you find out there are none. So the event G, the event that we land in a green pocket, is empty, and the probability of green given red is 0 eighteenths, or just plain 0. And now we compare. We need to compare the probability of G, P of G, and P of G given R. One of them is 1 19th, the other one is 0, so the answer is no. They are not independent, 
because the occurrence of a red pocket affected the probability of landing in a green pocket. It went from 1 19th to 0. Those are not the same, so they are not independent.